Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching. My name is Alexander, I'm a Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach and thank you so much for watching my YouTube videos. If you like my Porsche walkaround videos, please consider subscribing to my channel, please hit the like button and feel free to comment down below. You can also directly contact me with my contact information being in the video description, including my direct cell phone number and email address. In today's video, we're going to take a look at this very recent arrival. This is a 2021 Porsche 911 Turbo S Coupe. This vehicle just came into our pre-owned inventory. The mileage is just over 3,000 miles. And being a 2021, this is the latest generation 911 Turbo S based on model code 992. So in today's video, we're going to do a walk around on this specific car, talk of course about the specific features that this one has, and of course also talk about the technical specifications of the 911 Turbo S in general. We're going to start of course with the exterior color, which this one is A1 black, so the standard black color. Later on, we'll see the interior, which is also a black leather interior package. But let's start of course with the exterior, looking here at the front fascia design. This is the original front fascia design of the latest generation 911 Turbo and Turbo S, as the two models do share the same front fascia with the beautiful, aggressive, but still elegant styling. Active air intakes here in the front bumper. These slats will actually open and close depending on aerodynamic and cooling needs. And also standard for the 911 Turbo and Turbo S is the Porsche Active Aerodynamics. So for demonstration purposes, I left the front splitter in the down position. This automatically extends at higher speed driving to create extra downforce as this car has a top track speed of over 200 miles an hour, a zero to 60 around two and a half seconds with a 640 horsepower twin turbo flat six. When the front splitter is in a down position, this also raises the rear wing, which we'll take a look at later on when we get to the back. But what a beautiful styling the new 911 Turbo S has. Even wider as the previous generation 911 Turbo S of the 991 generation, which Porsche produced between model year 2014 and model year 2019. The design inspiration of the 992 mentioned many times before my previous YouTube videos, heavily inspired by the classic 930 turbo from back in the day. And some of those design inspirations in the length of the hood, the squareness of the front bumper, and also these little lines here in the middle. And if you look at the classic 930 turbo from back in the day, you'll definitely recognize some of those design cues. The same with the shape of the front fenders. Look how wide they are, even wider as on the 991 generation. The same for the back fenders, which we'll see later on. What a beautiful, sporty, and wide body this car is. Standard for the 992 Turbo S are the LED matrix design headlights. So this is a different LED matrix design as for example on the standard LEDs that Porsche uses on the Carrera models. Now recognizable the LED matrix by these little lines on the bottom section and of course also the LED matrix script on the inside of the um, headlight housing. Uh, in the front this one also has the parking sensors which are standard for front and rear on the latest generation 911. And getting here to the side, we can see this one was ordered with the Turbo S exclusive design wheels. We saw this wheel design introduced a couple of years ago on the 911 Turbo S exclusive series. And I'm very happy that Porsche brought that specific wheel design as an option for the 992 Turbo S. It's still a center locking wheel, which is standard for the Turbo S model. But the design of the wheel has been changed. And again, this is called Turbo S exclusive series. We're running now a 20 inch in the front, a 21 inch in the back which used to be on the 991 generation, only applicable to the GT3 RS and on the GT2 RS, but now also the Turbo S of the latest generation runs a 20 inch in the front and a 21 inch in the back. Right behind it, we can see the PCCB, the Porsche Carbon Composite Braking System, which is standard for the Turbo S. Uh, in this case, it was optionally equipped with the high gloss black calipers. Let's get a little bit closer to these calipers. We can see the 10 piston setup. So one, two, three, four, Five, 10 pistons on this PCCB, which is incredible performance level. The previous 991 was running a six piston front caliper. Now we're up to 10 piston. Also the diameter of the actual carbon rotor is even increased by Porsche. Coming here to the side, we can see the beautiful air intakes feeding the air, like I said, to the 640 horsepower twin turbo flat six displacement 3.8 liters connected to the active all wheel drive system as standard through an eight speed dual clutch PDK transmission. Also specific are the side skirts, wider for example than on the Carrera models and this is definitely noticeable in this extra step here on the bottom section and of course the air intakes here on the side. When you go on full throttle, the induction sound going into these uh, intakes is just fantastic in terms of sound. Getting here to the rear, again the 21 inch, now running a 315 rear section tire on the 991, this used to be a 305, so also one centimeter wider in its rear tire uh, width. 
Still running rear axle steering system as a standard feature, introduced back in model year 2014 on both the GT3 as the Turbo Turbo S and still a standard equipment today. And of course, this is the latest generation specifically calibrated for the 992. Getting here to the back, I mentioned earlier on the front splitter being in the down position. This raises the rear wing in the up position, creating extra downforce at higher speed driving. I love the mechanical look of the rear wing. Look how wide it is also, and look at this extra support here on the bottom section, just fantastic. Uh, the silver slats here indicating that the Turbo and Turbo S come standard with active all-wheel drive. We do not make a two-wheel drive Turbo Turbo S, but the fact that these little slats in the middle are silver indicates the active all-wheel drive, uh, all drive being on this car. Getting here to the back, we can see the 911 Turbo S badging. We also see the exhaust system specific in shape for the 911 Turbo and Turbo S. And the fact that this is a Turbo S makes the exhaust tips being finished in black. If this would be a Turbo, the exhaust tips would be finished in the standard chrome color. We see the latest generation tail lights going all the way across. The biggest three-dimensional effect Porsche has ever used on the 911. We saw the 3D effect introduced in 2017 on 991 and generation two, but they went to an extra extreme level, especially with the new whiff. Look at these fenders on the back going all the way across. When this light bar is activated, it just looks fantastic. Also look at the extra layer here on the rear wing, almost like a ducktail type of design on the back, just looking really, really nice. We see also the air outlets here on the bottom section of the rear bumper. Now you can imagine with the twin turbocharging, how important the airflow is here to, um, to get the heat out of the engine bay area. A lot of uh, aerodynamics, of course, developed in the Visac wind tunnel. So again, 640 horsepower, top track speed over 200 miles an hour, and zero to 60s have been measured in the new Turbo S of about two and a half seconds. Feel free to check out some other YouTube videos, how this car accelerates or does quarter miles against some of the other brands out there. This car is truly the best all round performer in every segment. Okay, let's take a look at the inside. And before we do so, let's talk quickly about the optional roof. So this one has the optional um, sunroof version. It's hard to see because of course it's so dark, but this one does have the sunroof. I'll show it to you guys uh, later on when we get to the inside. So like I mentioned earlier in the introduction of the video, this one has the black leather interior package, which is a standard, but this one was the version with the chalk stitching. So if you look here on the door panel, you can see all the beautiful black leather applied and the stitching itself is colored chalk. The 911 Turbo S of the latest generation comes standard with the 930 interior package, which is this section here. And again, go back to the classic 930 Turbo. Feel free to check out the interior details in that classic Porsche and see how cool that Porsche brought that classic design back into the modern day 911. All the leather you can see beautifully applied here in the middle section, and you might have already spotted it. This one also has the iconic Burmester 3D surround sound system, completely re redeveloped for 992, so very different in sound versus 991 Burmester, and what an incredible sound this speaker system makes in this sports car. The seats are the 80-way Sports Seats Plus, which is a standard equipment once again for the 911 Turbo S. You can see all the controls there on the side, and again, the beautiful black leather, the chalk stitching, you can also see the Turbo S embossing in the headrest, which again is a Turbo S standard. This is optionally replaceable by the Porsche Crest, but the Turbo S has the Turbo S name uh, emba uh, embossed in the headrest. Again, a peak of the uh, sunroof, you can see it right there. Sorry for the reflection here in the room. You see the shade uh, currently in the closed position, but of course this can be opened. This one also has the option to ambient lighting package. Looking at the dashboard, we see this one was also equipped with the optional white instrument dial there in front of the driver. Sport Chrono package is standard on the Turbo S. You can see the driving mode switch there on the steering wheel on the bottom right. The same for the carbon fiber inlay. So looking here at the door panel, you can see the strip of carbon fiber. Carbon fiber continuing here over the dashboard going all the way across. We see the heated seats. We see the PDK 8-speed gear selector. And we see, of course, the shifting paddles also behind the steering wheel. Fantastic feel and click to these... Uh, to these pedals. Beautiful specification. Again, mileage just over 3,000 miles. This vehicle is going to be offered as a Porsche approved certified pre owned. Some other standard equipment for Turbo S is the PDCC, the Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control. I mentioned already rear axle steering system. Also, the PCM navigation system, including Apple CarPlay and Apple CarPlay now also wireless for the latest generation Porsche 911. Thanks so much for joining me on this YouTube video. Again, my name is Alexander. I'm a Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach. If you like my YouTube videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in this specific Porsche 911 or Porsche 911 in general, please contact me directly. Keep sharing the Porsche passion and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.
Bye-bye.